David Coulthard recently put the brakes on his nine-year marriage, and the F1 legend is now dating a Swedish model who is 23 years his junior. Here's the latest scoop on his very public breakup. First, let's dive into David Coulthard's breakup. The F1 legend is said to have split with Belgian TV star Karen Menier after being married for almost a whole decade. After the breakup, Coulthard and his ex-wife were both tight-lipped about what caused the split, but continued to maintain a respectful distance with each other in front of the press. But the 50-year-old turned heads recently when he was spotted canoodling with 27-year-old model Singrid Silversand while he was out and about in London. The pair were seen smooching and holding hands together in popular vacation spots and seemed like they were very much in love. Coulthard had also taken off his wedding ring and seemed like he was completely over his recent divorce. Minier has not commented on his recent appearance and the TV star could be doing this because she does not want to get involved in her ex-husband's new love affair. But netizens are speculating the involvement of Silversand and Coulthard's breakup. But despite the gossip and rumors, the F1 star seems unfazed and very much in love with Silver Sand. Now, let's discuss Coulthard's public love life. Coulthard and Minier tied the knot in Monaco back in 2013 after meeting eight years earlier. This was a great time for Minier's career since she was covering the glitzy Grand Prix in Monaco. The pair was considered a dream couple and even has a son together named Dayton who was born in 2008. The Scott racer described the arrival of his son as the start of a fantastic period and said winning 13 races couldn't even compare with becoming a dad. But it seems like the couple didn't get along much and Coulthard admitted back in 2015 in an interview with The Guardian that he married for the sake of his son. Karen and I got married because we had a child together and I had no intention of marrying anyone else, he said. He also mentioned that he had immense respect for his wife, who he had spent 10 whole years with. The pair were last spotted in public together at Wimbledon in 2019. After this, they were pictured in the summer of 2020 having lunch with their friends Amanda Holden and her husband Chris Hughes in the south of France. Coulthard and Hughes go way back and are really close friends. You might not be aware of this, but Coulthard was also Hughes' best man at his wedding with Holden. But Silver Sand isn't the first model to crop up in Coulthard's dating history. In fact, the Speed King started his F1 career at Williams in 1994 and has had a very public dating life since then. He was once engaged to American Heidi Wyshlinski and had a four-year relationship with the Brazilian lady Simone Abelnauer. And even though he seems to fall in and out of love faster than usual, Coulthard seems to adore his new lady love and is enjoying some quality time with her these days. Next, how McLaren's doing. McLaren seems to be doing a lot these days with some unexpected victories and some major financial restructuring. When team principal Andreas Seidel started work at McLaren, the Woking-based team was right in the middle of a restructure, as CEO Zach Brown wanted the team to return to F1's top table, and it seems like he achieved his goal. Two and a half years later, the fight back for the center stage is most certainly on, with Daniel Ricciardo giving McLaren their first victory in a decade with his win at Monza last year. Do you know that the orange cars ended the year fourth overall in a place lower than in 2020? But even then, they had their highest end-of-season points tally since 2012, so it wasn't all bad. Lando Norris took second, which was also their best since 2012. And even though the championship position was lower, the team's overall gains, relative to the leaders Mercedes and Red Bull, were relatively higher. McLaren also had the third best car for most of the season, but they ended up falling behind Ferrari when the Italian team introduced a new spec hybrid system, which came up eight races ahead of schedule. But since their focus was already on 2022, McLaren chose not to respond immediately, which was considered a sensible move on their part. Their new MCL 35M had a bunch of improvements compared to the previous models. This proved that the technical team, who are all working under James Key, were doing a good job. It also meant that the team was meeting their targets of consistent improvement and was also preparing in the best way for the opportunity that the new rules in 2022 offer. Let's take a look at what Seidel thinks. Seidel's all praise about McLaren's recent performance. According to him, everything's going really well for the team so far. He even said that he was happy with what they had achieved in the past two and a half years, but he also knows that the team still has a long way to go. The objective we have is getting back to the front and being a position to fight for race wins every single weekend. But I'm definitely happy with what we've achieved so far. He's also in love with the car and what it means for the team. When we look at this car, it's great to see we made a good step forward again, which is a result of even better working together between all the different departments back home under the leadership of James Key, says Seidel. And even though he agrees the team has its limitations and Red Bull and Mercedes are doing a better job since the past couple of years, McLaren also has the potential to catch up with them and maybe even produce better than them in the next couple of years. What changed the game? But perhaps what's most impressive about McLaren's achievements last year is their change engine supplier. If you didn't already know, McLaren moved from Honda to Renault for 2018 and then to Mercedes for 2021. But they were smart about these changes and only implemented them when the regulations remained stable, making fitting new engine architecture into existing concepts even trickier. But despite the difficulties, the team managed to keep the boat sailing. Seidel also praised the team's reliability and how they made the very most of what is the class-leading PU 
LSU. He said that this was something he was particularly proud of. The team proved they could persevere in all kinds of hardship and continue to work hard to achieve their goals for the year. Next, we look into Lando Norris's hard work for McLaren. A key to McLaren's success has been their talented driver lineup of Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo. Norris, who is already a famous name in the world of F1, is currently in his third season with the team. He recently stepped up to the plate following the departure of his friend Carlos Sainz from the team. Sainz was clearly more experienced, but Norris has proven himself no less with his racing skills. He also delivered an impressive run of results, which includes three podiums in the first nine races. He could have even had a first F1 win in Russia had it not been for the heavy rains that canceled the event. Norris also scored 63 more points than in the previous year. He finished a career best sixth in the standings, which are considerably ahead of Ricardo, and he also scored in every race bar. But what's great about his presence in the team is that he has come into his own as a leader and has a fantastic relationship with his colleagues. Not only this, his friends and colleagues think that he is maturing into a formidable driver. A bright future for McLaren and Norris. Seidel had nothing but praise for the F1 star and his contribution to the team. In a recent interview, he said, It's very impressive to see the steps Lando has made in the last two years. It's great to see how he's pulling it off inside the car and outside the car weekend by weekend. It's great to see how he interacts with the team, how he helps me also in order to push the team forward. Seidel also said that after noticing Norris for a very long time, he firmly believes that Norris has everything he needs to become a top guy in this sport. He also referenced Ricardo's contribution to the team and said, I'm happy we have these two guys with us for several more years and looking forward to celebrating a lot more success with them in the future. The future looks bright for McLaren too, since they are much more financially secure since they secured investment from a consortium of U.S. sports investors, including MSP Sports Capital. They also sold their Woking headquarters and then leased it back on a long-term deal to release money. And with these new financial strategies and a team kicking on with a new wind tunnel on site, McLaren might just end up becoming one of the top players this season. What do you think? Will Coulthard tie the knot with his new girlfriend soon? What's the future for McLaren with their stronger financial footing and Norris's help? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.